Hello students, today we're going to learn about gene therapy. Gene therapy is a medical treatment of a disease by repairing or replacing defective genes or introducing therapeutic genes to fight the disease. Take a look here. Here's a treatment for the disease cystic fibrosis. So it's a fatal lung disease and the way people get it is that they're missing a, a sequence in their DNA. So there's a gene that's missing. Um, and so what we do is we get the missing gene from a healthy person and we put it inside a virus. Now what we do with the virus first is we know viruses can infect people and be a negative thing can cause disease. But what we do is we reprogram the virus. So we just we take out the bad genes of the virus, dump those out and put the good gene in there. And as we know viruses they attack host cells, but instead we're we're infecting the cell with something positive, something that's good, and it's going to be the healthy gene. In other words, the missing gene that is missing in these people with cystic fibrosis. And the idea is then this cell will start uh, following that message and building the correct proteins that will make you healthy again. And, and then that cell will uh, create even more uh, viruses of uh, healthy viruses. And then these will then leave the cell and go ahead and attack other cells in a positive way and infect them with good genes. Uh, so there's three ways to do this. You can insert a corrected gene, so the fixed version. You can also, with gene therapy, you can go in there and uh, fix a defective gene or actually go in there and uh, fix the bases, which we call genetic surgery. So here's a good animation of this process of gene therapy. Take a look at this here. Virus particles containing the therapeutic gene enter the liver with the bloodstream. Their target is the region where liver cells exchange matter with the blood, the small capillaries. There are large pores in the capillary walls. The liver cells are on the other side of these openings. The capillaries also contain special cells, the macrophages. Their task is to remove any foreign and harmful particles. They will try to do this also with the virus particles. That is why the outside of our virus is coated with a protein that can bind specifically to liver cells. Because of this protein, the virus will get past the macrophages and reach the liver cells more quickly. Once the virus particle binds to the liver cell, the virus's envelope merges with the liver cell's cell membrane. This allows the virus's load of therapeutic DNA to penetrate the cell. It will find a path to the cell's nucleus. The virus proteins assure that the therapeutic gene is taken into the genetic material of the liver cell. This will enable the liver cell to function once again as a healthy cell. Okay, so gene therapy has had some success um, with people with Parkinson's disease, cystic fibrosis, uh, hemophilia, muscular dystrophy, uh, sickle cell anemia. Here's a good video to take a look at that understanding. Leanne Rittenbaum has cystic fibrosis. Okay, well, let me take a listen. Frequent medical checkups are a way of life for this nine-year-old. Cystic fibrosis is the most common fatal hereditary disease in the United States. And they become infected and inflamed and there's thick sticky mucus and the lungs get clogged up. To keep patients breathing and alive into adulthood, doctors prescribe daily lung clearing therapy and lots of drugs. Researchers believe a better future, and they hope a cure for cystic fibrosis patients will come from something called gene therapy. Doctors want to give patients the normal or so-called good genes that they were born without. A still very much experimental process being tested at the National Institutes of Health hides the good gene on a common cold virus. We make this virus into a safe virus, so it's like a cargo ship. It carries the normal gene into the cells. The just released NIH study tracks four patients who each received the new gene therapy. Uh, we now know that we can transfer this gene to the airways. We know that uh, there are ranges of doses that are safe. Researchers say this is the first solid evidence that the genes they transfer can actually begin to function within lung tissue. 
but they're still far short of proving the therapy can ease the symptoms of the disease. Next, they want to see if they can make the gene survive long enough to be effective in fighting the infections that cause the mucus buildup in patients' lungs. The written bombs are excited about the latest news. Now we're on to the next steps in terms of frequency of, of testing and hopefully uh, from there leading to the control and cure. So today is just a momentous day. Until doctors can prove gene therapy works, Cystic fibrosis patients face a grueling battery of tests and treatments. Doctors hope that one day, hopefully not that far off, a gene therapy treatment will make lung tests like this no longer necessary for cystic fibrosis patients. Big breath in. <gasps> blow hard. Blow, blow, blow. Al Hinman, CNN, Atlanta. So one of the concerns with gene therapy is uh, that it could possibly go wrong. And this was very well depicted by the movie I Am Legend, uh, where the case is that the virus, um, it was carrying the good gene to cure cancer, um, but somehow that virus uh, caused a mutation of other critical genes in the uh, DNA of the cells, causing uh, the mutation to be leading to something like uh, these zombie creatures. Um, or in the movie they talk about how there are symptoms like rabies, but rabies gone wild or something like that. So here's a good uh, video depicting that. This is from the movie I Am Legend. It's a little clip. Give it to me in a nutshell. Well, the premise is quite simple. Um, take something designed by nature and reprogram it to make it work for the body rather than against it. You're talking about a virus? Indeed, yes, in this case, the measles um, virus, which has been engineered at a genetic level to be helpful rather than harmful. Um, and I, I find the best way to describe it is if you, can, if you can imagine your body as a highway and you picture the virus as a very fast car um, being driven by a very bad man, imagine the damage that that car could cause. But then if you replace that man with a cop, the picture changes, and that's essentially what we've done. Now, how many people have you treated so far? Well, we've had 10,009 um, clinical trials in humans so far. And how many are cancer-free? 10,009. You have actually cured cancer? Yes, yes.